Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We are doing a full case pick your team of 2017 Panini Prism Football. This is pick your team number six. There will be a uh, autograph recap video. So if you are watching a replay, just look to our other videos. You should see a recap video for break for pick your team number six. So you don't have to watch this hour long break unless you want to. You can. You should. All right. Get our lucky fall pumpkin out of the way. And here is, here are the list of people here. On a Tuesday, picking their teams. Joe Johns with Last Spot Mojo and the Chicago Bears. And there's everyone else. Good luck, everyone. And let me uh, make myself some room here. It's Pretty big case. Here are all, all of our boxes here. See our, our stacks, four stacks of three makes 12. Let me actually slide some of these over here so I can make myself a little bit of room. There we go. Remember three autos per box, nine number parallels per box on average. That's what we're looking for. So here we go, folks. It's a long one, settle in. Uh, let's do a quick roll call here. Uh, who is here for this break? What teams do you have? This is Pick Your Team 6 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Nice, Ryan has the bangles. Oh, Ryan, by the way, I need to email you back on that other issue. So don't worry, I've not forgotten about it yet. Or I've not forgotten about it. <laughs> I just need to respond to you to close out that issue. Um, so Ryan has the bangles. He's looking for a Joe Mixon. Sam is here, he's got the Jets. Nice, couple people spectating just for the mojo. Mike has the Redskins in this one. Alex Lindsay checking in just in time with the first box. Buccaneers, I'm sure I'll hook you up with some Jeremy McNichols for you to add to your Jeremy McNichols PC. All right, let's see what the first box has in store for us. Thanks for joining us, folks. Thanks for making us part of your Tuesday. Lead off with Paul Perkins. And here's our first autograph. It's Davis Webb. Remember, Vet Base does not ship in this. But you'll pretty much get everything else. Inserts and numbered cards, obviously, and hits like this. New York Football Giants, that'll be for Booker G. There's Danelle Pumphrey for the Eagles at a 275. I'll sleeve and top load these after the break. Our next auto is, nice, Purple Crystal, 25 out of 75, Cracked Ice for uh, Shaw, and the Fly Eagles Fly, nice. We got Kyle Williams, out of 149 for the Bills. Nice wave pattern. And Zach Cunningham is your third autograph. That's for the Texans. That'll go to Jeff. Jeff G. Let's 
So inserts like this will ship. Obviously, this Deshaun Kaiser parallel will ship for the Browns. That'll go to Daniel. Obviously, any rookie cards will ship. And then these are prism parallels. So this vet base right here will ship. Stuff like this will not ship. So hopefully that makes sense for everyone. There's Tredavious White at a 149. There's a nice Dangerous right here, Russell Wilson at a 199. That's for the Seahawks. We got Russell Wilson again, nice. Out of 275. That'll go, that's another one for DC. There's Richard out of 275. No, we do not sell the vet base. This is, mo we don't, we usually don't ship it just because it's, uh, it just kind of backs up our shipping process with the amount of stuff that we ship out. Out of 75, there's, there you go, Brandon Marshall. So yeah, we don't, we don't sell, we don't have time to sell base cards one by one. Come on. <laughs> um, there's Dak Prescott. We donated them to the Boys and Girls Club of America. Collect a huge monster boxes full of them. We send them out. All right, so that was box one. But yeah, we, we, we don't ship the base just because um, we, do, we, we end up sorting out so many breaks that every little bit, any place where we can uh, save a little time to get the hits to you faster is definitely what we're aiming to do. All right, second box. That's two already. So another week of football in the books, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what uh, what was the big storyline for you over the weekend, or what 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 moment last week popped out for you in football. Let me know. Big win, maybe an upset loss. I don't know. It seemed like a pretty normal week, though. I think. I feel like I feel like nothing. I don't. Were there any crazy injuries? I don't think there was any crazy injuries. Like everyone kind of did what they needed to do. All right, here's the second box. Good luck. Cam Newton, Panthers went off. There's Michael Thomas out of 149. Alex saying Bucks won and defense played well. Nice surprise, yes, considering. There's Derek Carr. We'll see him against the Patriots in Mexico City. They had a bye. Yeah, the Niners won their first game. They beat the New York Football Giants, the hapless New York Football Giants. There's John Ross for the Bengals out of 149. Blue wave is what they call it. Nice wave pattern for Ryan and the Bengals. Case Keenum going off, yep. Case Keenum. He's actually been going off for a while. He's actually been pretty playing pretty decently. Yeah, Seahawks on th we saw that on Thursday, Mark. Yeah, last Thursday, Richard poor Richard Sherman, Achilles injury. There's Isaiah McKenzie for the Broncos out of 149. They are not looking good the Broncos. Ryan Ruff saying Saints rushing for 300 yards. Yeah. Uh Drew Brees with a rushing touchdown. There's Sidney Jones. Blue wave for the Fly Eagles fly. That'll go to David Shaw. Sixty-four out of one forty-nine for the Fly Eagles fly. Who had a buy? 
Slam Jam on Breakers.tv saying, nice to see the Broncos and Chargers lose. It was. And this is cool. We got Mike Ditka for the Bears. 8 out of 10. Nice. For the Bears. That goes to Joseph John's last spot mojo. Cowminer asking, is it is being an Eagles fan now considered bandwagon? There's Larry Fitzgerald at 275. It, it I mean, it might be now at this point. There's Aaron Rodgers. Brett Hundley had a nice game. Adoree Jackson for the Titans out of 199. I think we're looking for one more autograph, right? Poor Greg Olson. There's Ben Rothsberger out of 199. What to actually come back, right? To beat the Colts. There's Ryan Tannehill for the Dolphins out of 199. There's Sheldon Richardson for the Jets out of 275. There's Aaron Jones out of 275. And there's our third autograph. It's Carlos Henderson for the Broncos. Oppo Joe Mojo going to Daniel and the Broncos. Right, Teddy Bridgewater active again. So when are, I mean, they're going to take their time with Teddy Bridgewater, right? I feel like, the, I mean, as long as Case Keenum is playing pretty well, I don't think that the uh, Vikings are going to get too cute with rushing uh, Bridgewater back into action. But, yeah, definitely good to see him, uh, see him back in action. Let's go through. I, I have the NFL scores. We saw the Thursday night game here together on Jaspi. We broadcast from Tuesday through Saturday. So we saw that Thursday night game. Poor Richard Sherman. Um, Packers, 23-16. Brett Hundley looking decent. Uh, Matt Stafford and the Lions, 38-24 over the, the hapless. Bro, and the Browns actually look okay. They don't look hapless. They're just not getting that getting that win together. Uh, the Steelers coming back with 11 unanswered points in the fourth quarter to get the edge over the Colts, 20 to 17. The Jaguars in overtime. Oh man, that was kind of an ugly finish to that game. Just a lot of turnovers and whatnot uh, at the end of the game for the Jaguars and Chargers. Chargers just giving the game away. It goes to OT, and then former Chargers kicker Josh Lambeau, I believe, knocking in that that field goal to win it for the Jaguars, twenty to seventeen. What's up, Nick? This is uh, pick your team six Prism Football full case break from JaspiesHobbyland.com. There's Spencer Ware for the Chiefs out of ninety nine. Chiefs that'll be for uh, Yasinia Lugo. We got Jared Davis for the Lions out of 275. There's Antonio Gates for the Chargers out of 149. There's Jamal Charles to 199 for the Broncos. Haven't seen our first autograph yet. There's DeMarco Murray. For the Titans, out of 275. We got Ted Ginn Jr. for the Saints, out of 275. The running Saints. There's Demarcus Walker for the Broncos. Little opposite Joe Mojo going again to Daniel. Nice. There you go, Daniel.
There's Andrew Luck. Out of 199. And there is the case hit right here. CJ Beathard. Two color patch and autograph for the Niners. Five out of 15. Nice low number. That goes to Chris Parent. Still might be a future for CJ Beathard, even with Garoppolo there. Uh, the one asking, how many packs do you think I've opened in my entire life? I have no idea. Thousands? David and Yoku. Out of 199 for the Browns. Actually, a bright spot for the Browns. And our third autograph is Adoree Jackson. Nice. 18 out of 25. Nice camo. Nice autograph, too. For the Titans, Brad Richardson and the Tennessee Titans. And there you have it. That was the third box in the books. All right, next box. All right, so moving on to the other games. Um, this is a nice recap for us because I don't I don't break on Monday, so we don't I don't get to recap all of this with you guys until uh, with you until Tuesday. All right, so moving on, Saints. Now, Saints look great, don't they? Man, it, but if there were any questions about their defense early on, they seem to be answered. It, any questions about Drew Brees not being able, not throwing the ball as much? Doesn't matter because they're 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 running game. They're they're now a running team. Forty-seven to ten for the Saints over the Bills, and the Bills I felt like were actually looking kind of good. They maybe they might may have gone in there thinking eh, we, we might be able to give the Saints a run for their money, but but man, forty-seven to ten for the Saints. They're looking really good. Uh, Buccaneers edging out the Jets. 15 to 10. They kind of grinded that game out without Jameis Winston and without Mike Evans. Uh, Fitzpatrick actually looking pretty decent, I think, as far as the backup's concerned. Uh, Vikings over the. I feel. I think I watched this game. I think this was a good game. 38 to 30 over the Redskins. Case Keenum looking good. The Vikings also looking really good. What's up, Scott? What's going on? All right. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. There's Thomas Rawls. There's Joe Williams. Out of 199 for the Niners. Deion Lewis for the Patriots out of 199. There's poor Richard Sherman. My, my boy Michael Crabtree. We got AJ Green for the Bengals out of 275. Seems to be back on track. Devonta Freeman for the Falcons out of 199. We got Des Bryant for the boys, out of 149. Trevor Simeon, red power, that's out of 49 for the Broncos. And our first autograph is Solomon Thomas, defensive end for the Niners, 39 out of 75. I like that purple cracked ice look. Niners, that goes to Chris Parent. There's poor Dalvin Cook. Poor Dalvin Cook. Out of 49. There he is. That goes to the Vikings. Jesse O. And our next autograph is, this is pretty sexy. Kenny G. 
for the Lions. That goes to James S. Tack McKinley for the Falcons out of 275. And for the Purple Birds, Marlon Humphrey. 003 out of 149. Lisa with the Ravens. There you go, Lisa. Thank you for getting in. Autograph coming your way. And we've got a nice camo refractor of Christian McCaffrey. Nice. 8, 19 out of 25. Christian McCaffrey camo. He's, he's certainly integrating into that Panthers offense really well, ladies and gentlemen. Looks good. Nice. There's Mike Evans' wave to 149. That goes to Alex and the Buccaneers. He'll be back in action, and that's that box. Next box, folks. Good luck. Moving on to the rest of the slate of games here. We have uh, the Titans over the Bengals, 24 to 20. The Rams. I mean, without Deshaun Watson, the Texans are just... I mean, you can see how much of a difference Deshaun Watson makes. This is why quarterback play... This is why a franchise quarterback is so crucial in the NFL, especially these days. Um, and the Rams, not only do they, have, do they have a good defense, but man, they are racking up the points, thirty-three to seven over the Texans. Rams are looking great. <laughs> Roy, you want to train? I wouldn't hold my breath for a train whistle in this particular break. The uh, it's pretty hard to get a train whistle in a uh, in a prison break. It'd be cool if we did, though. Falcons, 27. Cowboys, 7. Cowboys scoring a touchdown in the first quarter and then nothing. Shut out after that. What happened to that game? I, didn't even, I don't think I watched it. What happened, Cowboys fans? That was slated to be like a really, a really good game. Thought there would be a lot of points there. And then the final few games... On the schedule, just kind of doing a quick little recap. 31 to 21, Niners winning their first game, beating the Giants. Patriots destroying the Broncos 41 16, and the Panthers taking care of the Dolphins pretty easily 45 to 21. Cam Newton healthy and rocking and rolling. The Broncos not rocking and rolling. I mean, they, they can't keep the offense. Uh, the offense can't keep the defense off the field. I think that's one of the big issues there. So the defense is gas. They can't do anything. Defense isn't really clicking at all either. So what are you going to do? There's Patrick Mahomes. Yes. Camo Patrick Mahomes. Nice. Thanks, Dennis. Camo Patrick Mahomes for the Chiefs. That'll go to Yesenia Lugo. Nice. 12 out of 25. That is strong. And nice. Purple Crystal. Dalvin Cook. Nice. That is to 75. I like when the, uh, the parallel matches the jersey. That goes to the Vikings. That's for Jesse. We got Charles Harris for the Dolphins. Green scope is what they call it, that pattern. I like crop circles better. I think I like uh, spirographs better as well, if you remember spirographs. If not, look it up. 
doable. There's Martellus Bennett at a 275. Not with the Packers anymore. He seems to be fine. Artavis Scott for the Chargers, Los Angeles Chargers. Karen with the Chargers. There you go, Karen. Danny Woodhead for the Ravens out of 99. It's just parallels from here on out. There's Robert Kelly for the Redskins out of 199. Tavon Austin for the Rams out of 275. We got Joe Mixon for the Bengals out of 275. Ryan's looking for some ink on that. There's my boy Marshawn Lynch out of 75. He looked pretty good last time we played. We'll be facing the Patriots in Mexico City. Brandon Marshall, Giants, out of 149. And that is that for that box. All right, next box, good luck. Right, Ryan. Parallel first, we got auto next for that Joe Mixon. All right, next box. Just looking at the uh, the standings right now. So let's look at the uh, the AFC. Actually, can we start looking at the playoff picture now? That's what it says on NFL.com. Oh, we'll take a look at that later. Okay, so for the AFC, let's go through some of the standings here. AFC East. AFC East, we've got the uh, Patriots. At seven and two, they seem to be cruising along just fine. Are the Buffalo Bills going to threaten? They're at five and four, maybe not. I don't think the Dolphins are going to threaten either at four and five. I think uh, the Jets are four and six, but I, I think they've been playing, at least effort-wise, they've been playing a lot better than four and six. I think, they actually, I think they've actually been having a pretty decent season. They've made a lot of steps forward this season, the Jets have. Um, but no, it looks like the Patriots are going to take care of that division relatively easily. Well, that's still a lot of games left, but so far that's what it seems like. Um, it's, they still haven't seen my Raiders yet either. AFC North, so that's AFC East. AFC North, we'll take a look at after this box. All right, so let's see what we got in this box here. Good luck, everybody. About halfway there, making good time. There's Leonard Fournette at a 275 for the Jaguars. There's Jay Ajayi, Dolphins edition. Still go to the Dolphins at a 275. We got Sterling Shepard, who's looking pretty good, at a 99. There's Jimmy Graham for the Seahawks out of 199. Alshon Jeffrey, Eagles out of 275. There's Travis Benjamin for the Bolts out of 149. No auto yet? There's Mark Ingram for the Saints. Man, Saints running game looking great. That's out of 199. Move these out of the way. Points. So we'll uh, if there's more points, then we'll collect them as one in one big lot. 
and we'll randomize it to one person. That way you can get as many of those points as possible. That takes the place of an uh, autograph too. On 149, Joe Williams. I know, right? 150. I have not seen any other autos here. Are they all hiding here? They must all be hiding here. There's Tom Savage. No, that's a, that's a fake out. Out of 75, purple crystal. I was like, there's no Tom Savage autographs in here. That goes to Jeff and the Texans. Isaiah Mc... What's happening here? Out of 49, Isaiah McKenzie. All right, Brad Kaya is your red power autograph. I think we might have gotten shorted an autograph here. That's for the Lions. That goes to James S. Yeah, that's it. That takes the place of an auto. All right, three autographs per box on average. <laughs> Maybe another box has four autographs. All right. Next one. On average. Maybe we'll maybe we'll find a, an above average box in this case. Usually that's how it kind of happens. That's why we do case breaks, folks. That's the advantage of doing case breaks. AFC North. Pittsburgh Steelers, seven and two. They look like they're gonna take care of that division just fine. I feel like Steelers have kinda had a rocky start to the season. And, uh, but they, they're seven and two, they seem to be fun. Baltimore Ravens, four and five. Bengals, three and six. And the Cleveland Browns looking for that number one pick. Probably a quarterback. Oh, and nine for the Cleveland Browns. Not a good season for them. But, yeah, no trouble for the AFC North, right? But what's going on with the Bengals? I, I, I always feel like, on paper, they always seem like they have a great team. At this point, you got to think... At this point, you got to think it's uh, it's coaching, right? Because on paper they look great. Our Darius Stewart out of two seventy five. There's Cam Newton. He's healthy. He's looking really good out of ninety nine for the Panthers. That'll go to James S. DeMarco Murray out of 199. And 123 out of 199 for the Texans. Will Ful oh, is that what they're going to do? They're going to fool me, huh? They're going to troll me like that. Is that how it's going to be, Prism, in this box? Jamal Williams for the Packers out of 99. Oh, no worries, John. Thanks for getting in that break. Aaron Jones, autograph, there we go. I was getting worried. Chris with the Packers and that nice Aaron Jones autograph. We got Julio, Julio Jones at 0275. And Wayne Gallman, autograph. There it is for the New York Football Giants. That'll be for Booker G. There's Tawan Taylor for the Titans out of 199. There's Martellus Bennett, Packers edition out of 199. Josh McCown for the Jets at a 275. Mike Wallace for the Ravens at a 49. And 
And we only got two autographs out of that one. I didn't miss an autograph, did I? Now that makes me think that I did something wrong. No. see a couple boxes with four autographs in there. Hmm. Yeah, no, it's not. It's odd. All right, well. Them's the breaks. <laughs> All right. Next division, AFC South. This AFC South is actually pretty exciting. Who do you think is going to win the AFC South, everybody? Get, take a coffee break here. All right. AFC South. Titans are six and three. Saxonville Jaguars are six and three. Now, the Texans aren't going to catch him for for uh, Deshaun Watson, and the Colts they're not going to do anything. Um, but Titans and Jaguars that's a pretty pretty interesting uh, pretty interesting finish here to the season. That could be pretty come down to the wire. Who do you think has this division, folks? AFC South. You got the Titans or do you have the Jaguars? Give the edge to the Jaguars. They've got a great defense, and they're doing just they're doing just enough, just fine, on on offense. I like what the Jaguars are doing. Has, has Tom Coughlin? I think Tom Coughlin's like an executive with the Jaguars now. Has he changed the culture of that of that team? Have all the draft picks, all the high draft picks, finally coming together? You know, like guys like guys like Jalen Ramsey. All, everyone's healthy. Everyone's playing well. Out of 199, there's Gerald Everett for the Rams. There's Charles Harris. Green scope autograph for the Dolphins. That'll be Armando with the Finns. William says Jags. Easy schedule, too, he says. But Liam says Titans. He says better offense, and their defense is top 10. Big Ben to 149. Titans destroyed the Jags in Jacksonville. Have they played in Tennessee yet? Maybe. The, what if? What happens when the if the Jaguars destroy the Titans in Tennessee? There's the train whistle that Roy was looking for. Gold vinyl Demarcus Walker opposite Joe Mojo and train whistle Mojo. That goes to Daniel Pelletier. And the Denver Broncos, two out of five. Daniel, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo! There's David and Yoku out of 275. There's Isaiah Crowell to 199. There's Mariota, Liam saying, hey, strength of schedule. The Titans can keep winning. I think it'll be a pretty exciting finish for the AFC South. Out of 99, Jordan Reed. Drew Brees, out of 199. It is trademark, Jesse O. I'll sue the pants off of anyone who tries to take that. William says Jags have the conference tiebreaker, but it should be close. Gary Ann Connolly 
out of 99. I think Gary Ann Conley was shut down for the season, if I'm not mistaken, for some reason. There's Tom Savage out of 275. Vaughn Miller out of 75. And Mitch Trubisky, 41 out of 149 autograph for Joseph Johns in the Chicago Bears' last spot mojo. Strikes again. Nice. All right, next box. Let's go to the AFC West, my division. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. Well, the Chiefs are 6 and 3. Chiefs are 6 and 3. They started off the season hot. They uh, their defense is a little lacking. The Broncos have just fallen off a cliff. They've lost five in a row. They're at three and six. The Chargers are three and six. They've lost two in a row. So the Raiders are at four and five. They got Raiders have to start winning games if they want to try to get a uh, wild card spot. Um, but they have an outside chance of maybe winning the division, depending on how the Chiefs do. Chiefs kind of playing inconsistent football, not not looking as great as they did at the beginning of the. Uh, uh, of, of the season, right? ESPN kid Ryan saying, "Hey, the Chiefs could have run away with it, but they're slumping a little bit, yeah." And the Raiders seem like they're they need to string a few good games together, my Raiders, but but it seems like they're kind of turning it around a little bit. I think obviously playing the Patriots will be a big kind of milestone game, you know. So if uh, if the Raiders can look good and beat the Titans. Or beat the, not, I'm reading the chat right now. If the, if the Raiders look good, beat the Patriots in Mexico City. Then, um, I don't know, maybe that's kind of a season, in-season turnaround for the Raiders. They can kind of bounce back. We'll see. Ah, Khalil Mack will have a big part to do with that. 12 out of 25. Camo for my Raiders. There's Jesse James out of 275. I'm going to sleeve up these camos. Out of 25 and under, I'll sleeve up parallel-wise. Where's my Raiders in this one? Karen with my Raiders. Quincy Wilson for the Colts. Colts, no Andrew Luck. No, no season. Basically next year. Mike Coons with that. Yeah, if you have a 100% health, healthy Andrew Luck, it would be a different story out there in Indianapolis. Malik Hooker, good story for the Colts out of 275. Julius Thomas out of 199 can blow up here and there on a Sunday. Maybe good for daily fantasy. Trevor Simeon. Not good for the uh, not good for the Broncos. I'm okay with it though, as a Raider fan. There's Jamie Collins at a 199 for the Browns. We got Josh Reynolds for the High Flying Rams. Man, they they are playing very well. Sean McVay, a wizard. There's Mike Glennon for the Bears at a 49. Looking for one more autograph out of here. We got Spencer Ware for the Chiefs out of 149. Here's my boy Marshawn Lynch. Points again. So we're going to combine these points and randomize it to one person. So they're actually worth a little something. So that takes a place of the, the uh, second autograph. There's Mitch Trubisky to 199. And there's nice Marshawn Lattimore for the Saints. That'll go to Josh. Marshawn Lattimore having a great season for Nolens. 
All right, there we go. Three boxes to go, folks. A uh, hub asking how many cards does each person get? It all depends. It'll it'll be it'll be different every time. Sometimes you could get zero, or sometimes you can get a ton. It's the luck of the draw. Uh, Panini points are for the Panini Reward Store, so it's uh, it's incentivized people to go to the Reward Store. You get those points, and instead of I don't know, I guess instead of ending up with a Jeremy McNichols autograph, I suppose you could use those points and get something that you actually want in the uh, in the store. The reward store. Years ago, the reward store used to not be very good, but uh, it's actually it's actually quite good. If you collect enough points, and you can get points like for pennies on the dollar on like on a secondary market, so you can actually collect a bunch of points together and um, and get like some cool stuff in the Panini reward store. NFC, NFC East. The Eagles got it right. That there's no no chance. Eagles are eight and one, winning seven in a row. Eight and one. Cowboys are five and four. Redskins are four and five. Uh, and the New York Football, the hapless New York Football Giants are one and eight. Although they had a few games where they, they, they were very close to winning them, but Eagles look great. They really do. Uh, they're firing on all cylinders. NFC North. Vikings seven and two, Lions five and four, Green Bay Packers five and four, Bears three and six. Lions kind of still hanging around there. Packers, man, if the Aaron Rodgers didn't go down, the Packers would be right there, right up there, I think, with uh, with the Vikings, if not leading that division. But the Vikings looks like look like they're going to win that division. Speaking of the Packers, there's Aaron Jones, twenty four out of one forty nine. Nice, Aaron Jones, a nice uh, bright spot. For the Packers, you know the Packers are not always drafting high because they're always playing so well from season to season. So getting someone like Aaron Jones to sort of emerge and be productive is a good thing, good sign for the Packers. There's my boy Derek Carr out of 199. Let's get him back on track. There's Paul Polizny. I don't know why that was backwards. And there's Chad Williams, purple crystal, or cracked ice, for the Cardinals. Paul Harris on the board. 44 out of 75. There's Drew Brees for the Saints, who's benefiting greatly from that revived running game. He's even running, too. I think Drew Brees scored a rushing touchdown last weekend, right? Drew Brees. There's our Joshua Dobbs. 13 out of 99. Nice. Green scope or spirographs for the Steelers. That's for Daniel Pelletier. There you go, Daniel. Nice. There's John Ross for ESPN Kid out of 199. He's looking for ink. There's Aaron Donald for the Rams out of 275. There's Elijah McGuire out of 149, who could be pretty serviceable for the Jets. There's uh, Brashad Perryman for the Ravens. Uh, 75. Jesse Oak, that's a good point, Jesse. Jesse's like, who didn't get a rushing touchdown for the Saints last week? Fair point. Fair point. Yeah, you know that if Drew Brees is getting rushing touchdowns, then, then it's a good day for the Saints. There's Elijah McGuire again at a 275. I think we got all three autographs, right? Yeah, we got all three. There's the famous Jameis Winston out of 49. Just needs to stay healthy. There's Brashad Perriman again out of 149. All right, we're almost there, folks. We're making good time. Two boxes left. 
couple divisions left. NFC South. Speaking of the Saints, Saints are 7-2 and two in the NFC South, winning seven in a row. Can they be stopped? Can the Saints be stopped? That rushing offense is great. Drew Brees doesn't have to throw like 80 million times a game. That defense, I think, is really what's been doing it. They've only allowed 165 points, which leads the uh, which leads the NFC South. Falcons are the next closest at 179. Falcons just aren't scoring points though. But the uh, Saints are seven and two. Panthers are seven and three, so they're just percentage points behind the Saints. That should be a pretty exciting finish. Saints, Panthers for the NFC South. Who who takes that division? Saints or Panthers? Or if you want to get spicy, you think the uh, if you want to drop a hot take, a spicy take, you, does anyone have the Falcons winning that division? Does anyone even spicier? Alex Lindsay, maybe? Do you have anyone have the Buccaneers taking that division? They're three and six. Can you imagine? Jameis Winston eating a ton of W's till the end of the season. All right, here we go. Let's eat some hits. Theo Riddick. David Moore. Out of 275 for the Hawks. Terrell Pryor Sr. out of 199. Who was not really connected with Kirk Cousins this season. Tack McKinley out of 10. Nice. One out of 10 for the Dirty Birds. Daniel with that one. There you go, Daniel. Ryan says he has the Falcons coming a lot closer this year out of 149. And has them better than the Panthers long term. Panthers look pretty good, though. Mmm, tacos. Taco Charlton going to Roy Ulbrich and the boys. There you go, Roy. I think once his playing career is over, he's probably going to get together with uh, Arizona Diamondback Socrates Brito. Maybe start a restaurant. See what I did there? Come for the break, stay for the jokes. There's Gary Ann Connolly out of 149. No four nets as of yet. No four net ink as of yet. There's Allen Robinson for the Jaguars out of 275. There's poor Aaron Rodgers. It's Mike Evans, he'll be back on track. Rob Gronkowski out of 275. Damon Harrison out of 99 for the Giants. Not a good season for the Giants. All right, and return of the Mac, Mac Hollins. He's been getting a little work in for the Dynamic Eagles offense. That goes to Shaw. Fly, Eagles, fly. Should be expecting one more autograph out of here, out of this box, on average. Tredavious White for the Bills at a 75. And there it is, Elijah Qualls, another Eagles autograph. For the Fly, Eagles, fly. There's Kelvin Benjamin at a 275. And that's that for that box. All right. We are almost there, folks. We made it. We made it. One box left. That's it. And then we'll see what we're going to work on after this. So the last division to discuss, I timed this perfectly. The last division to discuss will be the NFC West. The Rams are seven and two, but the Seahawks are right behind them at six and three. Who wins that division? You got you have the Rams 
the high scoring Rams, and they got a good defense too, or Seattle Seahawks, six and the six and three Seahawks, whose offense seems to be coming alive a little bit. Let's see how their defense does without Richard Sherman as the games go on. The Rams are seven and two. Seahawks are six and three. I think the, I want to say the Rams have a pretty favorable schedule going forward. Cardinals. I feel like they're always taking like one, two steps backwards and one step forward. Uh, they're four and five, and the Niners won their first game, one and nine. Although they don't need a quarterback anymore, I guess, if they have Garoppolo and C.J. Beathard. They're currently the number two pick in the draft. And I have to say, you know, Los Angeles is buzzing about the uh, buzzing about the Rams. They're playing pretty well, and people are believing in the Rams. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. Let's finish strong here. There's Robbie Anderson, who had a decent day for the Jets, out of 275. There's Willie Sneed for the Saints, out of 149. We've got Jameson Crowder to 99 for the Redskins. We got Jesse James, the outlaw, out of 49 for the Steelers. Red power or checkerboard or my shirt that I'm wearing today. Mike Evans out of 199. Uh, Wayne Gallman out of 149. And our first autograph is Malachi Dupree. Packers. That goes to Chris. Fins up. Slide these over. Zay Jones. Rob Gronkowski Illumination. Some of these are actually numbered too. Alvin Kamara at a 275. Saints. That'll be for Josh. Saints rushing game looking incredible. James Connor. There you go. Cracked ice autograph for the Steelers. That goes to Daniel. Nice. Jamal Williams for the Packers out of 199. And we've got Jonathan Allen. For the Redskins out of, uh, not numbered, but that goes to Michael Gallucci and the Redskins. A little hit for you at the end. And those are our three autographs, folks. There you go. Let's see a nice camo parallel. Adam Shaheen out of 25. Andy Dalton to 99 for the Bengals. And that is that, ladies and gentlemen. Got to randomize the points. So let me take care of that right now. So we'll combine these points, two, uh, 250 and 150 together. Let's go to the list. Let's pull up some random.org. Let's get some new dice. Let's get a blank list. Let's go back to the list. Let's get Paul. Let's go all the way down to Mike. A name on top will get the points. Good luck. Out of uh, after five times, four and a one. One, two, three, four, and a one, five times. And those points go to Karen. There you go, Karen. Both of these points coming your way. Thanks, everybody. That was Pick Your Team number six of 2017 Panini Prism Football. We'll see you later. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. JaspiesHobbyland.com.